Hello and welcome back to the Autics Weekly Challenge. Me and Big Nut. This is challenge number 96, and it is uh, who stole my latte. Uh, this week's challenge is taken advantage of waning days of November. The particular challenge was conceived, constructed, and submitted by the great Nicole Johnson. Okay, so you are promoting a phone app. It takes photos. It keeps track of when you're taking those photos. You went and bought a coffee at. Uh, or something called a pumpkin spice latte at 12.50. Unfortunately, you were pulled away to an emergency meeting or fire drill. And when you got to back to your desk 20 minutes later, your latte was gone. So we're going to use the data we got from the app to see if we can hunt down this latte. The data is filed as structured into a concatenated information of date, time, phone number, longitude and latitude. Uh, the data will need to be passed. Uh, we assume the thing couldn't have been further, further than 1 point, no, point 0.25 miles, so 0 0.25 miles away from the location. And there will be more than one potential thief. So we need to cut it down. Okay, so let's switch to the start file. So here we have, this is the output. We're looking for an image and some information about the user. And then in, or the, 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 the thief, I guess. Um, and then in here we have the uh, some data around the, uh, the, the pictures taken and a URL to download the image. Okay, so this seems to be these can be passed by this underscore that's in here. So let's do that. Uh, so this one, oh, this must be the yeah, this is the headquarters. So let's just let's give ourselves some room. Let's move that down there. Okay, first thing we want to do is to pass this pass this data. So we'll use a text to columns and we'll split this up underscore delimiter and we want to create five columns because there were four underscores one two three four yeah so let's uh, run that okay so we want to cut down here yeah, we got so we've got this well that's useful not well not useless so we've got date time in a funny format we've got a number which looks like a mobile number maybe then lap long okay so let's <clears throat> first of all uh, let's just put a date in here so we can use the date pass as we're in there uh, we'll take image number two which is it and we'll custom it it was just click on here and see two so it's year 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 month month day day straight into hours colon minutes colon seconds okay so that should give us date time yep so we've now got a time so we can then do a filter and just take anything after uh, 1250 so if we take the date time we do greater than and then if we turn off this we can do seconds as well minutes and hours so let's just edit this so it's 2017 so we can see what actual date is yeah zero one 17 and then we want 12 50. okay so it couldn't have been before then because that's when you purchased the coffee so that gives us yeah, so that gives us anything after 12.50 and we want to do anything, get rid of anything, so filter anything that's then before. So on that one, anything less than, again, date uh, is 2017, 01, and then 17, and then it was 13.10, 13, 10. 13 10 okay so that should really cut down the number of rows so we only got 43 rows left where it could possibly be this thing now let's find out the location and see if we can cut down there so we've got a lat and a long so let's 
uh, first of all we want to do a formula and we can take the if we just take, here, we take the call this lat and we want to take we want to trim lat or yep so we want to trim uh, which one is it so four with that okay and then we want to take copy that and paste it again because that will give us and we'll create a new one and we'll call it long and we want to trim five uh, but this time we want to trim 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 long okay so let's run that see what we get yeah so we've now got a lat long so we can create the points in spatial create the points for those so lat long it's already found it and we run that let's bring in a browser let's see where all these things are okay so we've got let's bring in a street map and then we can see yeah so they're all spread around this location but we want to get them within a distance of this location so we can bring in the same create points so we run that and then I'm thinking I wonder if we can use this find nearest so we do that so we want to connect to the centroid we want to use points when it's connected here use from record that also minimum distance how many do you want to find 20 I guess maximum distance one Don't need any more than that because it gives us I think yeah it gives us distance in miles so let's run that okay we're now down to 30 and we have quite a bit of data but we now have distance in miles so I think we can just filter on anything less than 0.25 filter it down again filter distance miles is less than or equal or less than 0.25 run that okay we've got 10 images or 10 10 points that are in the right time and the right uh, the right uh, location so now where's the image there? so this image link we should bring down see if we can work out which one it is so this is going to be we need to download the image developer download it and we'll use image link and we'll create it as a blob and we'll run that didn't like that why did you not like that couldn't resolve host name okay so one of these hosts doesn't exist anymore we only have six left so uh, we can that's interesting so what are we going to do there so I think what we're going to do is we have to sample them out one by one so let's, let's bring in a sample tool It's a sample tool, and we'll take the first uh, one row, and we'll see if that runs. Okay, that runs. Okay, let's see. And now, what we should have is blob this download data. So we need to then bring in the which one is it so it's image isn't it uh, so let's uh, where 
to go reporting image bring in that okay and then uh, so image field blob so let's get it from here download data it's already found it edit image use fix width uh, show border so cancel that okay and then let's that's the best way to view this if we can view it I don't know if you can view it in a browse maybe yep, didn't like that blob is not a recognized image want a sample we want the record select so we can just select the one that we want select record right so let's go with two okay that's better can we see it rendering image oh there we go so we've got an image uh, doesn't look like there's any coffee or anything in that one okay so let's go with two let's go with three okay click on that it's trying to render uh, none of them look like they've got coffee <laughs> okay for Oh. I'm hoping you can find it now because we've got one left. Run. Oh, there we go. That's the image. Got it. It's the sixth one. Now I don't know how you could refine this to find the image from here. Um, is there anything in here that we can utilize? I mean, it was the nearest distance, so if maybe that would be the the one. Okay, so the we've got this information now. Uh, we've got we haven't got the name. I don't know about this name, uh, but what we have got is a phone number, and it's the same phone number as in the output here. So that's good. So we can uh, re ring that phone number and ask for our coffee back. There you go. Thank you very much for watching. See you again next time.